Thanks, Scarlett. This is a great way to kick off the Milken Conference. I'm sitting here with Steve Tannenbaum, founder of Golden Tree Asset Management, one of the most well-known hedge funds in the world. So, Steve, welcome. Thank you, Stephanie. Now, you launched your fund in 2000, and now here you are with $16 billion in assets under management. What is your investment strategy, and how has it changed over the term? Well, our investment strategy in terms of looking for investments has been very, has been pretty much the exact same for the past 20-plus years. What's changed, and that strategy is buy it, um, is to buy a dollar of assets and have debt that is only 50 cents. So have 50 cents on the dollar or to, um, buy, buying debt that has asset coverage of two times. What's, what's changed though is looking at liquidity. And we keep scoring liquidity today versus what we used to do 10 years ago. So we pay more, more attention to how quick we're able to turn over the portfolio today than what we did caught in 2000. But is there liquidity in the markets? I mean, you're in the bank debt space, the high yield, the distress, and even the CLO space. In theory, that's where we would see some of the toughest liquidity parameters. You know what? On liquidity is fluent. So liquidity in September might be different than uh, 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 liquidity last September is going to be different than uh, liquidity caught in April of 2012. So what we do is we score liquidity how quick we can sell 25% of a position and rank it according to a different group. So group one is 25% of our position in two weeks, 25% uh, of our position in four weeks, 25% of our position in six weeks, and then group four would be 25% of our position um, more more than six than uh, 60 days. Now, are your investors comfortable with you being in the CLO space? You're investing in old distressed CLOs, but right. you also just issued one of your own. You know what, our, our investors, as we are, are very excited about, about the CLO space because what we've told them, and which is what we believe, is there's the best, um, best, I guess, risk-adjusted spread or best value when um, in the CLO market. But after 2008, we thought we wouldn't see CLOs again. Banks basically wiped out their CLO teams. You know what, it's a great question. And what's happened, in contrast to residential, where so many of these structures um, were impaired, less than 1% of all the structures of CLO debt was impaired. So as a result, people are looking at what was a really difficult environment and coming to the conclusion, which we believe is a, co a correct conclusion, that these are well-structured deals that provided very good value. Now let's talk about Europe for a moment. What's your overall outlook and has it changed since last year? Sure. Our, our um, first Europe stabilized, you know, as a snapshot today. Is it today. really stabilized well, long term well, or just for the minute? No, Stephanie, you're, you're <laughs> getting at the heart of the, uh, of, of the issue. Right now, it's stabilized as a snapshot today. The issue is going to be what happens to 2013, what happens politically. We're seeing this playing out um, in France now with if you have an, auster an austerity program and you don't grow, your debt ratios are going to continue to deteriorate and that's not good. And so we're looking actually for 2013 and we're expecting a recession which is consensus in the Eurozone this year, but we also are expecting next year to be negative growth. Um, from what we can tell, and we don't believe that's in the market currently. So for you, it's U.S. bank debt and the CLO space, which is most interesting? Yes. We, we also feel that you're getting, um, uh, what, what we also don't find interesting is, is um, U.S. Treasuries. We feel that they're very vulnerable at this rate. So uh, we don't want to be getting um, fixed rate debt that we think is vulnerable to U.S. Treasuries. Well, I know who else is happy to hear that you're staying in the CLO space. It's banks, because they want to be in CLOs with you. Scarlett, I'm going to send it back to you that Steve Tannenbaum, founder of Golden Tree Asset Management.